when I need a speech that gets me pumped, gets my blood boiling in the good way, I turn, no, hey Skippy, no further than this speech, which is born in the title of Brene Brown's Daring Greatly, How the Courage to be Vulnerable Transforms the Way We Live, Love, Parent, and Lead. Again, the speech occurs very early in the book. The phrase Daring Greatly is from Theodore Roosevelt's speech, Citizen in a Republic. The speech, sometimes referred to as the man in the arena, was delivered at the Sorbonne in Paris, France on April 23rd, 1910. This is the passage that made the speech famous. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again. Because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who actually strives to do the deeds, who knows enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least he fails, daring greatly. Brene writes, the first time I read this quote, I thought, this is vulnerability. Everything I've learned from over a decade of research on vulnerability has taught me this exact lesson. Vulnerability is not knowing victory or defeat. It's understanding the necessity of both. It's engaging. It's being all in. Vulnerability is not weakness. And the uncertainty, risk, and emotional exposure we face every day are not optional. Our only choice is a question of engagement. Our willingness to own and engage with our vulnerability determines the depth of our courage and the clarity of our purpose. The level to which we protect ourselves from being vulnerable is a measure of our fear and disconnection. What does it mean to be all in? What does it mean to spend oneself in a worthy cause? This speech that came to the attention of Brene Brown has been one that I keep floating around in my head because we, I, at least in my own life, life can get lost in outcome, can get lost in success or failure, praise or blame, win or lose. And life is so much more interesting than that, it seems. This speaks to the necessity of failure, the beauty of failure, the how many of us know of someone in our lives who they, they have a story of how they tried something and it went horribly. And not only is it funny, but it also makes everybody in the room feel better because it's the reminder that if we get in the ring, if we get in the arena, then we're going to fall and everybody falls. And if everybody knows that everybody falls, then everybody rises, hopefully. Let's all keep on keeping on. Thank you for listening to another key takeaway from a book in less than five minutes. Have a good day.